our guys are doing a great job right now. We've, uh, you know, we're going on week three, and you know they're giving me everything they have. You know, my upperclassmen are leading, um, doing a really good job with that. I can't tell you we've gone into practice number twelve, and they've given me everything they have every day. So I'm excited about this group. I think we have a deep team. I think we're versatile. I think we're skilled. Um, right now, I'm working on changing the mentality, um, building a culture of hard work, and they're buying in so far. How different has this been? You get hired in March, and within days, it's like the world has changed as we know it. Talk, talk me through what you've been doing and how you communicated with these guys during all this where you couldn't recruit, it was just video. It just, it's a different world. It is different. You know, I tell people all the time, you know, what we wanted to do is embrace it. Um, you can make all the excuses in the world. We wanted to embrace it. Um, you know, we're recruiting. You know, we, we did it a different way. We had to do it a different way this year. It was more virtual recruiting, at, uh, looking at tournaments on the weekends. It was more phone calls. It was more Zoom calls. Um, so what we wanted to do is we wanted to treat it as if we were in person with them. And we took that approach. We were able to have some success in recruiting um, up until this point. With my guys, it was different. You know, I met them for the first time on August 18th in person as a group. And uh, that was an exciting time for me. But leading up to that, we had to do everything through Zoom calls and FaceTime um, and over the phone through text. So it was different, but I think we were able to build a solid foundation and, uh, you know, something for us to build on for sure. Well, for us, uh, you know, we haven't talked about, you know, if we're going to kneel or, you know, whatever it may be when the time comes when the season starts. But what I wanted to do is well, I wanted to give them an open platform to just talk about it. And I expressed to them that you may not want to talk about it openly to everybody else, but you can come to us. You can come to the coaching staff. If you need us, we're here for you. Uh, that was my message to them. I know times are crazy right now, and they have no idea what's really going on. I just wanted to let them know that I support whatever it is they want to protest. Um, if they want to come in and talk about it, if we need to set them up with someone to talk to about it, just let us know because we're here for them, and we want them to feel safe and protected. How does it hit you personally? Yeah, you know, it, it's been rough. It's been rough. You know, I, um, I have good days and bad days. Um, you know, I, I just pray about it, um, you know, stick to who I am, and I try not to think about it too much. The guys, their personal responsibilities with this virus, how important is it that they all take this serious so that there can be a season? It's, a, it's everything. It's extremely important. And, and my message with, with that um, is it was simple. If you guys want to have a season, then you got to do all the right things. And, you know, that, that comes with on the weekends, uh, not partying, um, not being around big groups of people, making sure you stay clean, making sure you wear your mask. Uh, those are the things that I talked to them about. So far, we've, uh, we've been good with that. And I think this is a pretty motivated group. They really, uh, they really want to play. They're excited about playing. So I think they're doing all the right things. What has been the number one focus uh, for you with the team that you want to see come out of this upcoming yeah, my main message, and if you hear any of my interviews, um, doing the day in front of us well is important. I don't necessarily talk to them about, hey, we want to win championships. I talk to them about winning the day in front of them. And I think if we do that enough, then we'll have some, some really good success. Uh, but that's been my main focus with, them, with those guys. On the court, building the mentality uh, of, of working hard, competing every day, uh, being the toughest team. Those are some of the things we're doing on the court. But just as a whole, just doing a day in front of us well. Speaking of success, knowing your past success with the school getting back-to-back -back champs in 16 and 17, do you think you could bring the Seahawks back into the spotlight of a championship caliber team? Absolutely. I absolutely do. Um, me and my staff were committed to, to getting us back to the top. Um, 
it's gonna it's gonna take some time. You know, it's gonna take some time, but we're committed to doing whatever we need to do. Um, you know, and I told my staff we focus on one day at a time. Our main focus is our players and making sure we're making them the best versions of themselves. And so far we're doing that, but I absolutely 100% am convicted in what we're doing and how we're going to get back up to the top, for sure. Fans, you were with Coach Keats year one. You guys won the, the regular season. Uh, how do you or what do you tell them uh, to, to maybe you know, put back some of those expectations that, hey, this might not be something that we go and do again just like that, but they're going to be a better basketball team? Absolutely. I, you know, I, I want those guys to understand, you know, how we're going to play, uh, how hard our guys are going to compete. Um, we're going to put a, a winning product and a good product on the floor. Uh, you know, I, I talked to them about, and I'm really good friends with, you know, people, our donors and people in our Seahawk club, and I tell them just give us some time. You know, it's going to be up and down for a little while, but if we continue to believe in what we're doing, believe in the process and clock in every day, we're going to get back to the top, and, and I truly believe that. similar pieces. You've got some senior, you know, veteran guards back and, you know, not a huge bunch of turnover. There's a, there's a lot of similarities. To right. Right. I think that uh, I'm going to take the same approach that we had 100 percent. You know, coach is, is a mentor of mine. I worked for him for seven total years. That's what I know. That's what I believe in. And the main thing and you guys know from being around him is he was all about motivating his guys. They play, our guys played harder than everybody. We competed. We were tough. Those are some of the same things I'm trying to instill in my guys. On top of that, just building confidence with them every day, being in the gym with them and, you know, making sure I'm coaching them hard, but also patting them on the back when they do things right. Uh, just building that relationship with them off the court, on the court. So we'll do a lot of the same things. We'll do a lot of the same things that we did. We'll play the same way. I'll put my own spin on it. Um, but, you know, we're going to take the same approach. They say if it's not broke, don't try to fix it, right? Um, when you guys got here back then, a lot of the players were like, oh, my gosh, the practice is so much different. I'm, I'm whipped. I'm absolutely dead tired. Ask your game, he's like, yeah, it's a little more difficult. Uh, are you seeing the turn that you saw back then? Are you seeing a couple guys, the light bulbs come on, especially your, especially your new guys, I'm sure, who are like, oh, my gosh, what, am I, what did I just walk into? It's going to take some time before I start <laughs> seeing a turn. It's going to take some time before I start seeing a turn, but what I'm getting is maximum effort every day. Um, today will be a challenge for us. This will be our fourth day in a row. We haven't won four days in a row yet, um, so I'm excited. And I'm curious to see how, how they'll respond today because I'm going to throw a lot at them um, and, and challenge them a little bit today for sure. Given all the uncertainty around coronavirus, things change by the hour, by the day. Do you find it that maybe your student athletes are better prepared for that given that the game of basketball and sports in general just kind of preach next man up, next play, you know, mentality? Yeah, I think so. I think so. When you look at it, you know, those guys are, you know, I'm trying to get them to kind of, you know, think about what's in front of them right now. And I think so far they've done that. 